Hello everyone and welcome back to part two in the When I Was Basics series. Today we are going to be going over transferring the differences between a tune and an original onto another file, okay? A reason why you might want to do this is because there might be a difference in size between files, uh, let's say from an Alien Tech tool and a PCM Flash. It may be the same software version, but the file is different. So you can't use an Alien Tech read on a PCM Flash. For example, I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying that might be an example of why we might want to do this. Uh, another example of why we might want to do this is because we have, let's say, purchased a tune from a reseller or we've made our own tune, but we just want to transfer only the changes in the tune on one file to the original of another, okay? So I've got up here a Mercedes-Benz Vito with the EDC 17C66 ECU. And I know for certain that the file I've purchased is from Dynachip Tuning Files here as an example uh, for this software version. Now I've gone, let's say, and I've read um, a particular file from the car using a Bitbox or another tool and I've got my purchase file here. The way that we transfer changes is like so. I'm gonna open up the tune. Okay, this is the tune file. I don't have necessarily any maps defined. You don't have to, that's not what we're teaching today. And I'm gonna open up, let's say, an original that is the same software version. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put them side by side, just like this. Okay, and we're gonna connect the windows. We can do it with this icon here or or you can just press control 2 if i was in your position and my recommendation is to click on the the tune file first so don't click on your original but click on the tune file first like this i'm just clicking on the window press control 2 and then the last window you clicked on is going to be the left hand side of options and then the window you didn't click on is going to be the right hand side of options what we're going to do is we're going to connect these windows the tune file, which is the last one I clicked, I'm going to compare with its own original. And then the other file, I'm going to compare with the tune file on the left, if that makes sense. Okay, I'm just going to do a zero offset for now. Allow different high, low, and adjust maps when copying. That's exactly what we want to do. Okay, this is just so you know, this is the sort of options that I like to have uh, enabled. So, like I said, the last file we clicked on, as in the tune file on the left hand window, that is the left set of options, and then the file we didn't click on is gonna be the right set of options. I'm comparing the tune with its own original. That means that it's going to show me the differences that have been calibrated between the tune and the original, but it's not going to compare against the right-hand side. However, the right-hand side is gonna be compared against the left. It may sound very confusing, but we'll go over it together. Okay, all right. Now what we're gonna go ahead and do is we've got our file on the left. We're gonna scroll pretty much all the way up to the top. We're gonna to click there and we're gonna press the letter U. This is going to show us all the differences between the tune file and the original file in the left-hand project. So if I go through these, I can individually select them. I can also click on the first one and use the arrow keys to scroll through all of them. One of the things that you can do is if you want to transfer all the changes, make sure you know that these files are the same software version. If they are not, you'll have to do some um, alignment between the two files, okay? Which we use with this particular icon here. But for the sake of this video, where we're transferring a tune of the same software version to an original that is a different file size, where you cannot use the same project, we will use this method. So I press U, letter u for umbrella or uniform okay we're going to the we're going to scroll bar to the top and you can see that these are our first set of changes here you can actually press Control a and that'll select every single change right what we're going to go ahead and do then is we're going to click on the right hand side where it is highlighted okay right click original value what that's going to do, because the right-hand project is compared against the left, it's going to set all of the right-hand project bits or bytes that are selected to be the same as what's in the left. So we can click original value or we can just press F11. And what that's going to do is it's going to transfer every single change in the left-hand side over to the right. So can you see now how there's no difference in bytes? 
between the left and right hand side. So I'm scrolling through all of them. You see the right hand window is green. That means that it currently matches all the data in the left hand side as my theme has been set. What I can do now is control S to save this and I can go stage one plus Vmax. Okay, and click OK. Now that has transferred all of the changes in the left hand file across to the right hand file. So if I close that now, you'll see that there's all these differences. I press the letter U. I can go through all the differences and I can work through the changes that I've transferred across. But that, that has transferred all of the changes from the left hand side window into the right hand side window because I went U, I selected everything in there, not in the file that might destroy your computer. Inside this differences window, press Control A, okay? And then you'd go over to the highlighted uh, bytes and press F11. When the two files are next to each other, make sure that the left-hand project is compared against its own original, and the right-hand project is matching the software version of the left-hand project. And then you can just do that, and then you can export the file from there. So you can go export, which is Control E, and export as binary file, and then you can go ahead and export it like that. Very, very, very simple. Now let's say I was to get a file that is a different software version. So if I was just to go generic and search for EDC 17C66, but it's a different software version, as you can see here. What we would do is we would line, I'm just gonna basically change the view, so I'm changing it to hex, okay, just so you can see. I'm gonna do the same thing, last click on the tune, Okay, last click on the tune, control two to connect windows, compare the tune against its own original, and press U. See how there's an offset of zero but they don't match up? How do we get them to match up? We'll highlight some data and see how it comes up with this. This searches in the right project for a place that matches the selection in the left. So if I click on that, notice how now it's matching. Not all of the bits are going to be matching. Obviously, all of, a lot of this data might be used for other, other functions, but in terms of the maps that we want calibrated, they're now matching up. So I can go ahead and hold shift in the changes, hold shift and the down arrow, and I can just hold the down arrow and I can select all the changes that currently match. See how that doesn't match? You want to go back arrow up, and then you want to press F1 there. Now you click on the next change, Right, so I've just clicked on the last bit of bytes so that it takes me to the bottom of the list for this section. I'm gonna click on the next one. I'm gonna highlight a section, doesn't match. Highlight a section, doesn't match. Highlight a section, it matches. Okay, now that says 000C, that says 00FF. If I wanna make sure that that's the right data that I'm changing, I can go ahead on the left hand side and hover over original and you can see that that was a value of 000C, which means that I can just hover over the right one or click on it and press F11 to make it the same. Now, same for this particular value here, FF01, that's just before the map starts. So we can shift the right map negative or right. And then again, same thing, what was this before? That was a value of 75 as that is, press F11. Now it changes it to that. Click on this change, go to the next one on the list, highlight a selection, it matches, F11. See how we're doing it? And then once you've gone through the whole file, it takes a long time, but that's how it is. Save it as your stage one plus Vmax. Obviously I haven't gone through all the changes, but I'm just showing you how it works, right? So let's say you have a, yeah, exactly as we have here. Two files, different software versions, same engine, same ECU type, must be the same ECU type, must be the same engine. You can transfer the changes across bit by bit, selecting and highlighting the next bit of data, okay? 770, that was 0E74. So you can look through this and try and find it yourself. It might be a bit hard to do that, but I've seen plenty of people do it. Um, let's have a look. Sometimes also they don't exist. That's another thing to know. There might be logic in the left-hand software version that doesn't exist in the right one. What's that? 0E74. You can see here that actually lines up and it's already a map, so that would be accurate to change that. So yeah, that's basically how it goes. I'm obviously gonna delete that right-hand file because it isn't a stage one. I haven't finished all the different maps and all the different changes, but that's how it works. Okay, cool. 
All right, I hope you've enjoyed this video on transferring changes between files. Stay tuned for the next one.